Hey, 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 welcome back to another Take 5 with Sam. That is me, it is I, and we are reading yet again more of Psalms. I can't wait. I found a beautiful passage because this is the one we're reading today. <laughs> and I'm reading from my new living translation. I hope you are too, but if you're not, that's absolutely fine. Other translations are amazing as well because it is still the bible it is still the truth and i thought i'd do a quick run through of psalm 83 not a full run through uh because what i really wanted to focus on was the end of psalm 84 that is the cherry the cherry so psalm 83 to give you a rundown i'm not skipping past it oh no He's not talking about Psalm 83. I am. I am. Don't worry. Psalm 83 talks about Israel's enemies and how they are plotting against the Lord. Not good. Asaph just wants them to learn a lesson, pretty much. And he wants God to terrify them and let them be ashamed forever. <laughs> ashamed and terrified forever. That's nasty um but he wants the lord to show them that god is top dog he's the top of the food chain not that god is eating anyone or <laughs> but uh only god sits on the throne that's what asaph wants the lord to teach them amazing so moving on we are going to psalm 84 and essentially, at the end, it was one of the most beautiful passages of all time, in my personal opinion. And here we go. A single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. So, wow, first off. Um, but second off, the, the whole of Psalm 84 is essentially talking about the beauty uh, of living for the Lord and worshipping the Lord, the beauty of, of living a life where the Lord leads the way. And it is, I highly recommend reading all of it. It is so beautiful. And Psalm 83 as well. Can't forget about Psalm 83. But carrying on, a single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. A single day knowing the Lord and spending time with him is better than a thousand anywhere else. Well, good news for you. If you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Saviour, you are spending every day with him and he with you. So you can be anywhere else and be with the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, and I would rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my God than live the good life in the homes of the wicked. Other translations may say servant. I would rather be a servant in the house of my God. The lowest of the, the food chain, the, the team, but in the house of the Lord than live the good life in a home filled with sin um with, with the wicked for the lord god is our son and our shield he is our comforter he is the light of our life he gives us grace and glory the lord will withhold no good thing from those that do what is right O oh Lord of heaven's armies, what joy for those who trust in you. He brings such joy to you. And he can do that every single day, all the time. All you have to do is follow him. Because there's so much beauty with living for the Lord. So yeah, I thought this should serve as a wonderful reminder an encouraging reminder that you are living the good life and you're living right if you know 
your Lord and Savior. Have a wonderful day. I can't stop. I can't stop reading this. This is so beautiful. I'm going over time, but you know, take another, take another minute. Why not? You know, it's no long take five. This is, uh, take another 30. <laughs> but, uh, how beautiful, how beautiful. Read all of that, please. Such a beautiful passage. And I hope you have an even more beautiful day. Be blessed. Much love. Catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.